And welcome back to Hannity. There is a growing movement calling for New York City schools to recognize Muslim holidays by closing on two of the holiest days of the Muslim calendar year. Now, both the New York City mayoral candidates, the Republican and the Democrat, have come out in support of the CARE initiative. Now, the two have said that it's a matter of respect for the Muslim community and schools should treat these days just as they do Christian and Jewish holidays. Do you think this is a good idea? Here to debate it, CARE staff attorney Gadir Abbas, and from Next Generation. TV, Michelle Fields. Um, explain why you want Mr. Abbas. Well, let me just issue a clarification. This isn't a clear, this isn't a care initiative. This is an effort by the okay, part so why do you of want the it? American Muslim community as well as uh, the school district as well as well, I have an the article here candidates of right here the, that the actually mayor. says care is in fact pushing New York schools to recognize Muslim holidays so it's right there in this article that I've got well you're you're right that care is part of a coalition of groups <laughs> so you are part of in, okay. uh, has I'm glad we clarified this. that but but Sean what's really important to understand here is that this is a uh, effort that has been recognized by both the City Council in 2008 and 2009 and resolutions that it's passed. And also, this reflects uh, the wisdom that a school district okay. takes to acknowledge that it makes sense, Sean. Hold on one no, second, no, no. Sean. Answer the question. Listen, you, no filibuster. What percentage of kids in this school district are Muslim? There are almost, uh, the estimates range between 12 and 13 percent of all schools. So, for instance, last 12 and 13 percent? That sounds yes, a little high to last, me. For, well, that's what the New York Daily Post has uh, reported. The New York Daily Post and is as, not a newspaper well, in New York. There's and no such well, newspaper uh, called the New York uh, Daily Post. As well, what, what, uh, the rate of attendance uh, last Tuesday fell from the average of 97% okay. all the way down to 87%. Percent. And what happens, in Michelle, like that, Michelle, what happens in situations Michelle. like that? What happens in situations like that is that the school district is actually <laughs> wasting its resources right. because Can you take a I was a former teacher. Sean. I, I got, Sean, please I got, let I got me finish it. Here. We have let another me, guest on the program. Can you let her talk? Here, Sean, <laughs> let her talk. And that as a teacher, <laughs> I'm going to turn your mic down. Come on, come on, it's not funny anymore. Teachers and the students. What kills me is that the. The politically correct police came out and they told us that they didn't want schools to recognize religious holidays. That's why we don't celebrate Christmas anymore in school. Right. We don't celebrate Easter. Now it's winter break, it's spring break. Winter solid. Yes, of course. And now Solstice, these politically correct police are back. Oh, actually, we changed our mind. We want states to recognize religious holidays, but only Muslim holidays. That's so hypocritical. Yeah, it's I agree crazy. With you. What's your reaction to that, uh, Mr. That's Abbas? That's not true. The New York City schools do take off for the uh, they primary don't Jewish holidays. No, you're wrong. They, they don't do recognize Christmas. The, uh, they don't Christmas celebrate holidays. it. They don't recognize break. it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the school district's responsibility here isn't to celebrate religious holidays. You don't know anything the, about I live the, in New York. What, let, me, let me educate well, you because you well, don't even know the newspapers you, Sean, in New York. They don't the purpose celebrate the Christmas here and they don't celebrate the Hanukkah. Off. The school district isn't responding to uh, a celebration. What the school district is saying is the school district is how acknowledging that 10% more of the population to some groups and not that others. the school is uh, being right. attended needs to have just that just day. Reading? I think he's talking to himself. Go ahead. You think. Uh, my question to you is how do you justify giving holidays and special days and accommodating one group and not the other? I mean, I think this is a slippery slope. Where does it end? Who do you give it to? Who do you not give it to? Well, the city council disagrees with you. Oh, the because they want both, obviously. Also, Come on. The they president want of the uh, parents' unit, uh, union also disagrees with you. And remember, when right, you're going to name every liberal group in New York City. Okay. Here, this is a very important point, Sean. Oh when 10 percent of the student population keep, is keep missing going. school, I never that creates like the more work. <laughs> For teachers, Sean, right, you invited go. me on here to talk, and you have to let me finish. You never stop talking. Yeah, you you never take a breath. You've been doing. All right, we got to take a break. When we come back.